In this game, I will be asking a popular YouTuber the price of 10 Yu-Gi-Oh cards. Their goal will be to guess the price of each card as closely as possible. For each dollar away they are from the correct answer, they receive a point. As points add up, the lower the prize. Today, we see if your favorite YouTuber can win the $1,000 grand prize. Pack is a competitive Yu-Gi-Oh player turned streamer and YouTuber. He is known for his rapid success in the Yu-Gi-Oh competitive scene, in which he won a remote dual YCS soon after he started playing. He is also known for his technical YouTube videos and Twitch streams where he teaches his viewers optimal plays in competitive Yu-Gi-Oh. Today we find out if he knows his Yu-Gi-Oh prices. Welcome back to episode 12 of Guess That Price. Today's guest is Pack. How are you doing today, man? Pretty good. I'm feeling I'm feeling good for this. You feeling confident? You ready to go? I, I don't know if confidence is the right word, but I'm excited. This is really, really fun. I, I like this uh this series that you've been putting on. So I'm I'm glad I can hop on as a guest. Alright, so uh there's a wide range at this point. You know, there's been eleven episodes, there's a lot of different you know, some people have done really bad. Some people have done in the middle. Some people have done great. So I'm interested to see where you fall. Uh, I'm not trying to put any pressure, but I have high expectations. So mm. let's see what you can do. Oh, no. <laughs> okay, sure. But if, if you don't do well, it's okay. You always can be like, yeah, I have like one tournaments and all that stuff. So it doesn't really matter. <laughs> so uh, exactly. All right, Pat. Question number one. Our first card that I will be asking you is Tier Elements Rule Colos Starlight Rare First Edition from ah, Darkwing Blast. So it's a nice. newer card. It's a newer card. Dude, this is awesome. I'm a proud owner of one of these myself. Okay. okay so, Tillament Rukalos. Man, I think, like, I actually opened one at, I think, YCS Minneapolis. I opened one out of my booster box, actually, uh, the, the day before the YCS. Um, and I, I believe... opened one with Simo. With Simo, with Simo. At yeah, Pasadena, I saw that. So, yes. we have had good luck at YCSs <laughs> with this card. Yes, yes, yes. Um, so, I, if I remember correctly, I think at the height during Minneapolis, this card was at around $300, but it's calmed down quite a bit. I know it's been declining in price, like most archetype Starlights do. So, oh, damn, I want to say like, I want to say like 250, closer to 200 range, but I'm not sure. Okay, okay, <laughs> you've got a range set in place. Yeah, you think yeah. you're right or what, what do you got? I do think I'm in like the 200-ish range. Um, so let me think. I'm going to guess, I'm just going to go with my gut and say like 230. 230, okay, we're going to yep. go with the gut. 230, you said 200 to 250 on your first one. That yep. was your kind of your range on question one. I will tell you this, it's in that range. It's in there somewhere, so. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right, the correct answer for the Tier Elements Rule Close Starlight First Edition from Darkwing Blast is $216. Oh, okay, close. Let's go. So you're super close. You got the right tier. And I, I'm just going to like reiterate that if you're in the right tier, you get a $10 credit added on yep. at the end for each one. So okay. you're essentially $4 off here, which is a great start. Okay, nice. Um, and if you do happen to get it right on, you get a $25 credit. So I would be happy to see that. It's only happened twice in this is the 12th episode. So it's very unlikely to happen. All right, let's go to question two. It's a great start pack. Here's one of my favorite cards, the Millennium Shield Ultimate. Ultra, ultra rare, oh not ultimate. My. From McDonald's pack one, so it's a nice. classic pack. Nice, nice, nice. That card's in the, I think, in your background, right? So that's it is sweet. a giant fake version of it. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, dude, this is one of those cards I have no idea. Um, quite frankly, I, I think I'm probably gonna use the lifeline on, on this because I feel like if yeah. I'm off, like I'm basically just like screwed for the for the the rest. Right. You know what? If you have no idea, you might want to figure it out. Yeah. Okay, so I will probably. Swap this one out. Okay, um, I like yeah. it. Early swap. People Early don't usually swap. do that. I think you're the first person to use that one first. So I actually like that strategy because a lot of times, I don't know if you remember this, but this, mm -hmm. whatever card this this is in, yep. the, the replacement question is also in that same tier. Oh, So nice. if you know the next one, it can maybe help you out or whatever. So, okay. all right, let's get you your new question. What would you have guessed? Let's just let's just see what it would have been. Honestly, I probably would have guessed like, like 20 bucks maybe. Like, I, I think this is a tier one card personally because okay i feel like those mcdonald promo i guess we're looking at near mint right so yeah everything everything's near mint unless i say specifically not i don't know like i, I just feel like it's in like the tier one range yeah. keep that in mind for your next question if you think okay. this is tier one the next one's you know gonna be tier one if you're right about that all right your replacement okay. question your first lifeline has been used use the swap which i think can sometimes be good saying can sometimes be terrible it just depends on if you know the next <laughs> card or not so let's see if you know this one it is clear wing synchro dragon ghost rare ah. first edition from cross souls oh okay wait a second oh my god this card could be like 80 bucks or 120 bucks i don't know why that's what i'm thinking 
Because okay. I feel like a lot of these ghosters weren't like this is like one of those like not too expensive ghosters. I feel like I definitely don't see it being a tier three. So I see it in between like the, I guess one to two fifty range. Um, at okay. Least at this point, I guess like the thing that I have to like reason through is whether or not I think the McDonald's promo is a tier one or a tier two. Right? Yeah. And then, yeah, because if you think this yeah. is tier two, do you think the McDonald's got up to the tier two, or do you think it's was the tier one like you originally thought, and this is maybe cheaper than you thought? Maybe the McDonald's promo could be a tier two card like over a hundred plus dollars. I'm trying to think. Did you have you have you opened these in one of your videos? I feel like I've watched one of your openings. I you have, have right? but it's been like three years. I opened a bunch of these a long time ago. I pulled like five of these in one video one time, which was crazy. Okay, okay. Ooh, that's a that's a hint. I'm joking. <laughs> Is it? I don't know. Is it a hint? I don't know. <laughs> oh, okay. I've been I've been known to uh, get some flack from the comments for maybe uh, edging people certain ways. Okay. I all right. I'm gonna guess eighty bucks. Eighty bucks. Okay. So yeah. you're going down to. The tier one. So you yep. decided based on me pulling five Millennium Shields, that's probably a tier one. That's what you're thinking over here. So, yep. okay, 80 bucks. That's what we're going to go with. We're going to lock it in. You used your first uh, lifeline here. Yep. You, so far, you've technically dropped the first one, but you know, mm -hmm. we're not, that's not going to be your, your worst one. You only lost yep. $4. So let's see how bad this one is. You replaced it with the Clear Wing Synchro Dragon Ghost Rare First Edition of Cross Holes. You said 80 bucks. Yep. It is $66. Oh my God. Yes. Let's go. So that was a good decision to oh lower it down. The okay. Millennium Shield, you guessed 20. It's actually $58. Oh, 58. So okay. You were okay, right okay. that it's a tier one and yep. it's not like that hard to get because there was only a couple of ultra rares in the McDonald's pack. There was only like, yep. I think 15 total cards. It, it's, it was just too prevalent there. Like okay. everyone kind of had it. So even with the nostalgia, it doesn't quite hold the value, but yeah. very good guess. You're essentially $4 off twice now with you getting the right <laughs> tier. So oh my very good stuff start we're looking good let's go to question three okay all right question three a great start i mean you can't do much better than how you have started so let's see if you can keep it up mm -hmm. we have skyscraper ultimate rare first edition from oh. cybernetic revolution oh my god i own this card <laughs> this is sick oh but i don't remember how much i bought it for so long ago <laughs> well that might uh, not help you then if it was a long time ago yeah it, well it was like a year ago during height of covid so like okay yeah. i feel like it it's probably a little bit less because everything has been you know, dampening down a little bit. Do you have like any idea what you paid or is you, you just completely forgot? I want to say like in the tier one range, like probably like 60 to 80. Uh, maybe I, I don't remember for sure. Uh -huh. If I were to guess, that's where that's probably the ballpark I would guess in, to be honest. I hmm, I kind of want to get these like early ones right. So I'm going to use the tier check here. The, OK, the, all right. Yeah. Nice. So yeah. you were you're you were thinking tier one. I was thinking tier one. Yeah, it's good thing you use this because this is a tier two card, a tier two card. OK, gotcha. OK, so if I'm trying to think of hero cards and like ranges, I, I would say like this is probably a hundred to two hundred dollar card then. I don't think it's at the end of 250. Mm -hmm. um, so, I mean, it's CRV though, Cybernetic Revolution. I mean, but this was one of the easier ultimate rares, I feel like, to grab it. Yeah, I think this is just a retail. Isn't this just it, a regular yeah. rare, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's a regular rare. Yeah, it's not a hobby yeah. ulti. Yeah. yeah. I'll go between my 150, 200 guess. I'll go. I'll go 175. All right, 175. Yep. We're splitting the difference. You've used your second lifeline. Early First time it paid off pretty well. Let's see if it pays off this time. Your question three answer of 175. The correct answer is $190. Oh, let's go. So these are paying off. You're only five okay. off. Technically, that's your worst guess yet, but still yeah. pretty good. Okay, You're only nice. $5 off. Not yeah. bad. This is a great start. You still got seven questions to go. You still... I mean, you've dropped one technically, but you haven't really had a bad one yet. And then you yeah. have one more. You have a lower or higher, uh, you know, lifeline to go. So let's go to question four. Let's see if you can keep it up. OK, uh, this is kind of a, a, a messed up image, but a TCG player has terrible images sometimes. But okay. <laughs> question number four is Icarus attack super rare from Dark Revelation. 4. Nice, 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 nice. This one is actually quite expensive. This is a tier two card. I'm, I'm like super positive. It could be a tier three. It, it could be on like the lower end of a tier three card. Because I was actually right. looking at this for for Black Wings for for Edison format. I mean, DR DRs are just an amazing sets. So if I were to guess Icarus Attack's price, I would honestly go for 200. But I'm gonna think a little bit on that. It, it might just be a tier three card because DRs are just like so expensive. Yeah, you have had two tier twos already. So if this is a yeah. tier two, that would be all of them except for that your be, potential fourth. Exactly, exactly. So I feel like I've seen a light played for 170, 180 when I was checking TCG player like last week. <laughs> so I want right. to say. 
<laughs> uh, but I could be wrong. I, I don't remember for sure. For sure. Keep in mind, it's all near mint, so I know that's could what be I'm a saying. little different with that. So if I guess 250, am I technically guessing? You're in a tier, the tier two three? if you say 250. 251 is tier three. What, what could it be? Uh, it's probably like uh, maybe it's 280. I think. Okay, I'll guess 270. 270. Okay. All right. We're gonna go with 270. You're basically, uh, you're basically assuming that I would not put three tier twos in the first four questions. Is what you're assuming here. I, um, yeah. So we're gonna find out. Am I? Are you right about that? I don't know. I, I don't know. I could be easily wrong. Okay. So wait, 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 wait. Before, before you lock it in, let me think one more time. <laughs> Okay, oh all right, okay, we won't lock it in. It's Wait, not no, locked in. No, I feel like you're mind gaming me. I feel like I feel like I'm not, I'm just reiterating <laughs> what happened. I'm just reiterating what I, happened. I feel like you might have like Nibru and I'm summoning more than five times. Right well, now. here's the thing. It, it's like <laughs> the difference is between me and you dueling is I want you to do well. I'm not trying to That's make you true. do bad. So it, it's a little bit different. If I if I'm just saying it, I'm probably not trying to make you do worse. Okay, the the reason is because like my memory is like messing with me right now. Like I feel like somewhere in my brain tells me i saw this at like 200th other day and, and like i just don't remember for sure that's the issue right now so i'm trying to okay. see is my brain lying to me am i just like seeing things it, it could be it could definitely be lying to you oh my god okay you know what i'll lock in at 270 i'll lock in at okay let's yeah. all right let's let's stay with 270 yeah. we'll find out if i tricked you or not the answer you locked in at 270 yep. is Three hundred dollars. Oh my God! Let's go. <laughs> yeah. Let's go. So if you got a two hundred, that would have been a huge mistake. So good yeah. decision. Yeah, this one, this is probably one where the case is like the near men is way more than the light play yep. for some weird reason. Uh, you probably did see a light play at like one seventy or one eighty, and okay. of course Blackwing and Edison has probably made this thing go crazy yep. recently. And of course DR four with those weird prices, like they're always so expensive. It's kind of yep. like retro pack. You're just yep. like, why is this so expensive? I mean, it's kind of hard to find, but. Yeah, it's, it's just weird. So <laughs> it ended up being a good guess for you. You're, this will be your one you've dropped so far. Only 20 bucks off after okay. the credit. So nice. I okay, mean, okay. you basically have one free in the next six that you can miss pretty badly. Oh, OK. Come on. I got to I got to do well. I was watching Gage's episode. So Gage's been crushing it. <laughs> trying to get pumped up. It's yeah. like watching, listening to Eye of the Tiger, watching Gage guess prices or something. Yeah. No, I was actually doing it. I was, I was actually reacting to it on, on stream. Dude, I, I've been really enjoying the series, so. I was like, dude, this is sick. <laughs> okay, so this is what we need you to do. Okay. You cannot let your stream down. All right, if you're in Pack stream yep. and he is sucking later, <laughs> you have to let him know, okay? Know. If he's doing great, yeah, give him a sub or something. Okay, yep. let's go to question five. This is a halfway point after this one. So let's see if you can really kill it through halfway. Okay. I assume you've seen this. Okay, I, I would say I assume you haven't seen it, but I just assume you've seen all these cards, but you haven't been around that long, so maybe you've never seen this card. The Great Bill. Rare oh. from World Championship 2010 card Oh pack. my god, it's a rare though. It's a rare. Yes, but I, I have I have seen this card and I do know that yeah. the WC elevens and WC tens are like million bucks. Like they're so expensive. The super yeah. the supers are like, you know, eclipsing five, six hundred dollars. Uh yeah, the twenty elevens so. are all all foil and then the twenty ten yeah. is all rares, I think. Oh my god, but these rares are like not normal rares, bro. They're they're like crackhead rares. Like they're like True. probably eighty buck rares. Like let me think. The Great Bill. Interesting. Uh, so it's funny because I, I know in, I think, WC11, I think Drollbird. Is it Drollbird in WC11? It's a super, uh, right? I, I think, forgot. yeah, it's some, it's Droll something, yeah, because it's like, you think Droll and Lockbird, but then it's just like the random regular one is in there. So funny story, on one of my deck lists, I wrote Drollbird instead of Droll and Lockbird. Oh, <laughs> no. So I got a game boss, and the judge was like, you got to find a Drollbird. I'm like, bro, how am I supposed to find this? There's only one print. <laughs> it was only I mean, 2011? Yes, there's only oh, one print. Oh, and it was yeah. probably like $400, too, or something yep. like that. So I'm just like, nice. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> That's crazy. Uh, yeah, rookie mistake. Um, okay, so Great Bill. World Champion 2010 card pack. Damn. I feel like I'm pretty comfortable with the super rare prices for like the World Championship 2011, but 2010, like I, I never, I, I don't think I've ever looked at into them. Yeah. It's um, like, because nobody really cares about this one as much because it's rare. Yeah. I will wager a guess that it's like a, probably a really expensive rare, but in the tier one category. So I'll say like 80 bucks is my guess all right eighty dollars yeah. on the great bill i just had to put this one on here because it's just hilarious looking i <laughs> yeah. saw it going through and i was like we got to use this one this is yeah. too funny so okay you do have some familiarity with the pack a lot of people would probably be like um what what set what, is this i've never this? seen yeah. it before so okay you, you kind of knew great bill rare world championship card pack uh, you said 80 bucks. You said that right off the bat. You're like, it's probably like an $80 rare. Yeah. I was over here like, oh my gosh, it's a $77 rare. Oh my god, yes! <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> yes. I was okay. like, please guess that. Just stick with your gut. All yeah. right, 80 bucks. So that one you're like within the tens, you're gaining back oh like God. stuff. Nice. Oh my nice. goodness. So oh my at this God. point, the recap is two tier ones, two tier tiers, one tier three. So you do have yep. two potential or maybe even three of those dreaded tier threes left yep. Yep. that yep. it could really mess you up. But so far, like your score is unbelievable. <laughs> We're halfway through. If we got oh. a half time right now, how are you feeling? I feel good so far. This is it's been tough, though, because um, especially like the great bill one, I honestly thought like it could be like maybe 110, you know, like one of those like or that uh -huh. are like between the tier one tier two so it's a little tricky i just went with my my, my gut because i've seen a lot of cards like that are like these expensive and like using like 80 plus range so i was like i'll just guess 80 but glad it worked out <laughs> that was a great guess okay let's go to question six are you ready okay let's do it all right question six we have destiny hero Ooh. dreadmaster ultimate rare first edition from enemy of justice enemy of justice wow i that this is this is an awesome set i, I love these gx sets i hate this set personally but oh because it does is it because of like the cars are like not in great condition when no it was because at one point i bought nine of these hobby boxes it was a few years ago two hundred dollars each so it was like a pretty good deal and i was trying to pull the shining or the element hero oh. phoenix enforcer and shining yep. phoenix enforcer i mean i you know how there's four ultras per gx set yep i pulled one ultra ulti and it was <laughs> the voltanus the adjudicator whatever Whoa. his name was oh wait so i didn't even pull the dreadmaster so no. i pulled nothing good it was so sad i was just like wow wait. what a waste it's funny you brought that up because i think i watched that <laughs> i think i watched you despair as you like kept opening enemy of justice <laughs> i i know i was like oh it's gotta be this one right that was before i realized how hard ultra ultis were to pull yeah. but and yeah, that, that was a depressing set for me. I love this card artwork. So I was like, if I just pull this instead, I'll be mm -hmm. happy. I didn't even get this one. So yeah, no, this is a beautiful card. So Dreadmaster. So, I mean, it's a hero card. I, hero cards. I, man, I think like this is, it's an ultra ulti like you, like you mentioned. So I want to say like 300 is my guess. Cause I feel like, I feel like it's probably in the 300 plus it's collector. It's a really cool collector card. Astro Phoenix summoned it in the anime. Like if I were to guess, I, I would guess it to be a tier three card, but it could also be a, easily a very high tier two so like a 200 plus card as well so i think like for me i have to like flip a coin on the either i guess in the 200 range or the 300 range and i would go with 300 so i'll, I'll say I'll, I'll just throw a random number out there like let's say 315 315 okay yep. all right so you're thinking this is our second tier three that would put us at two of each which would make sense let's see if i made sense when i made this or not <laughs> <laughs> honestly i i just do it kind of random so here okay. we go all yep. right here we go destiny hero dreadmaster ultimate rare First edition from Enemy of Justice. You said 315. Yep. This is your first one. You're gonna definitely gonna have to drop this one. <laughs> okay. Oh, okay. It's not that bad. 450 is the real oh, answer. So okay. it's not terrible, but yep. it's also, you know, you're looking to be closer to that. But you didn't yep. actually miss it that bad. It is yep. a pretty expensive card. This one was kind of weird because there was like a eight hundred dollar listing and then the four fifty, but I thought this was a pretty reasonable price for this card. Yeah, uh, just for like the GX stuff and, and the hero and all yep. that. But yeah, this is a tough one because there wasn't I was looking everywhere. There wasn't like any listings like on eBay or anything. It was crazy. So I was like, this is a pretty tough one so not a bad guess you're getting to drop that one though so yeah. you have four questions left question seven we have solemn strike ultimate rare from oh. ots4 i think I, I think i know it off the bat i think it's one 179 or, or 179 I have, okay. I, have to, I have to think a little bit more but i want to say this card has definitely gone down in price uh -huh. over the years but it is definitely between 180 to 220 like between that range for sure you said 179 why did yeah. you say that specifically Be because i remember like look someone was like trying to sell these i think and i remember looking the price up and i think i saw 179 like okay. yeah so i want to and that's why I said that off the bat, but it could also, yeah. maybe, maybe I saw 179 and that's like 85% of 220 or something like that. So maybe that's what it could have been. That would so. be an interesting way to remember it. You remember yeah. the 85%? Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, um, I want to, hmm. Oh, so it's like near mid. So maybe it's, I mean, my conservative guess would be like 200. And I feel like I probably would be in a decent position. So your conservative guess would be 200. Your aggressive yeah. guess would be the one you remember, the 179. Yeah, the 179. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. So, so are you a conservative guy or an aggressive guy? Uh, I'm pretty conservative, I would say. I'll, I think I will well, I'll go 190. How about that? 190. You're going to split the difference between the two. Okay. I like the strategy. I like the strategy. Okay. He's going to go 190. Are you locking that in? I'll lock in 189, actually. Just for 189, <laughs> just in case so you can be exactly right if it's 179. Yep. Exactly. Okay, but if it is 179 and you get it right, that's $25. I'm just throwing uh, that out there. Oh, so that's hard. 
Because it feels like you want to guess 179, but you're not. I'm just, okay, I'm just okay. wondering How if about you want to do it or not. I'll guess 179. Let's do it. Content. Run it. Okay, you want to go 179. Yep. You're trying to get the $25 bonus. That's a big deal, especially since that. you missed one by 125. You could get yep. some of that back. Okay. Yep. All right. 179. You wanted to do that. I just asked you if you wanted to do yep. it. Yep, the yep. answer is 178. No! <laughs> You don't get the 25 bonus, but you do get $1 off plus 10. So you're still doing really well. A great guess. A huge one. I, it's, <laughs> I figured this would be like a the, a sort of playable high-end card that you would probably yeah. know. So yeah. I put this one in there. I was like, this is probably one he'll know. But because, yeah. you know, I, I don't want to give some that are hard, some that like mm -hmm. you have a better chance of knowing. Yeah. And uh, you did. You had just checked it, apparently. So when you started going until 200, I was like, no, don't do that, please. So fun fact, this was actually one of the, like when I first started playing the game in like 2019, late 2019, this was one of the first Ultimate Rares I've ever bought. It was actually my second ultimate rare ever that I bought. So, oh wow. Um, so it's it's I still have it. So it's a pretty iconic card for me. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's that's perfect then. Yeah. yeah. I absolutely nailed it on that one. In this case, you're back in the driver's seat. You got three questions left. Ooh. You've dropped one that's not that bad, and then you have. Yeah. Don't forget your lower or higher tier uh, question, or not yep, tier, yep, the yep, lower yep. or higher mm -hmm. question. Okay. I'm saving that. I'm saving that. <laughs> yeah, you're saving it because you know nine yep. and ten come up at the same time. So we're gonna yep. do number eight here. Pretty good so far, pack. All right. I'm getting a little nervous that I might have to give away a lot of money. I paid a bunch of people out yesterday, and that was painful. It was awful. Oh, no. So here oh, we no. go. Okay, here we go. Let's see if I'm going to have okay. to pay out another 500 like gauge. We'll okay. have to see. Millennium Miser Strike, Secret Pharaoh's Rare First Edition from Magnificent Mavens. A new set. I don't know if you've checked the prices of these or not. Yep, yep, yep. This is awesome. I, I haven't checked the price on this, but I, I like immediately I could tell it's a tier one card. It, it's just, it's impossible to be tier three, uh, but it's definitely in the tier one card. Like I would probably guess like 60 if I have to. But these secret pharaohs are awesome. Like I, I know, I feel like the cheapest pharaohs rare secret is like out of magical mavens, probably within the 60, 60, 50 range. Maybe, maybe like forty for like the really bad ones. There's so many of them. There's like there's 18. so many. Yeah, but yeah. this is a playable one. Um, and there's like some unplayable ones that are like definitely cheaper. I would reckon a guess at like I'm just gonna throw like a random number. Fifty eight. Fifty eight dollars. Okay, five eight. You said sixty off the bat, and then you changed it to fifty eight. So yeah, you feel like you have like a good grasp on these because there's. So, have you been checking mm. the prices of them or like what? Have you followed these? I uh, I buy a lot of cards, <laughs> but right. I don't really sell them that often. So I usually right. just like, I always try to keep up to date on like cards that I'm interested in. And this was definitely one of them, but I yeah. don't know for sure. Because like I said, Magical Mavens, a lot of the set tanked, including the, yeah. the, uh, the cool stuff, like the Pharaoh's rare stuff. Like, honestly, I can even see myself guessing the forties, to be honest with you, just cause a lot of this set like tanked. Like, honestly, you know what? I'll change it. I I'm gonna guess 40, 45 for fun. So you're changing your guess. Yep. To 45. What made you do that? It's just like. <sighs> the secret fair was, ah, but actually remember how I said it was like the cheapest like 40 ish and this is like yeah you said playable? that you said that earlier okay all right fine 57 57 okay so we're yep. going 58 45 57 so you are yep. sure about 57 okay 57 I'm locking in that's it no, okay no. 57 all yep. right okay we're all we're bouncing all over the place but really it's okay. a very small range millennium eyes restrict secret pharaohs are first issue magnificent mavens you went the wrong way no it's $59 no! <laughs> So no! you lost one dollar, but it's better than the forty-five. <laughs> it could have been worse. If you had gone up one, that would have been an epic oh. change. Oh my god, that would have been epic. Yeah. Hey, man, that's still really good though. You nailed it that it's tier one. That's our third tier one. Okay. I think we've had three tier two and two tier three. So going yeah. into question nine and ten, you know there's a tier three in here. Yep. The other one, completely random. So are you Ooh. ready for those last two? I'm excited. I, I can't wait. The, the last two are always cool because I feel like you always put up the, the heat at the last two. So it, it's, it's yeah. where you can really make or break it if you did well or not. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I'm scared. Question nine. Ooh. We have Rainbow Dragon Ghost Rare oh, First Edition from Tactical damn. Evolution. Okay. And then at question 10, Toon Cannon Soldier Ultra Rare from Tournament Pack oh. 6. <laughs> of course, that's a hard one. That's a good one. That's a really good hard one. I like that. That's hey, you've got it. You've got one lifeline left okay, if you want to use so it on either we have, of these. We have a higher or lower lifeline, right? You I do. think the Ken Soldier, I want to guess in within the two to 300 range. It could be more. It's a Tournament Pack card, which is... I mean, that's like one of the first sets of, of Yu-Gi-Oh! prize support, right? Tournament-wise? Yep. The sixth. That's six. That's the sixth, the sixth one. But this one was more distributed, I guess. There's like, um, I guess, European versions of this as well. <sighs> but let me think. Tactical Evolution, Rainbow Dragon, Ghost Rare, First Edition. Not the misprint. 
the which one's the tier thing. three? I I, I want to say the the Rainbow Dragon is or a tier three. They could technically both be, but they could. I, you yeah, know I think one is one. One of them is definitely one of the tier three. I think they could easily bo be both tier threes. To be quite honest with you, I mean it's an ultra from TP six. Like any ultra TP cards are just worth a lot, right? Like Roy Decree, like it's worth a lot. Like I'm trying to think of any other ones. I mean Morphing Jar. Uh, so are it's different. Mech Chaser, Morphing Jar, Needle yeah. Worm, Royal Decree, Luminous yeah. Soldier, DD Warrior, and then uh, the Magical Arm Shield. Okay, I I think I definitely have to use a higher lower. I mean, when else am I gonna use it? Yep, gotta use it. The Rainbow Dragon's an easy one to like mess up, but I think like worst case it gets dropped, I guess, and I'll keep the the third one, which is like true. That's off. a good point. Yeah, if you just but get I, one of these close, like then at worst you have like 125 yeah. miss. Okay, I'll go with the higher or lower. So I I'll pick a I pick a number, right? And you'll tell yeah, me. Yeah, you pick a number. Okay. If you do happen to get it exactly right, then that would be the first time ever that's happened, and then I just <laughs> have to tell you uh, okay. to neither. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, I'll say for Toon Cannon Soldier, a uh, higher or lower, $300. $300. Okay, yep. final lifeline of this entire quiz. You're doing really well so far. Hopefully, this will help you do even better. Toon Cannon Soldier Ultra Rare from Tournament Pack 6 is lower than $300. Okay, lower than $300. Okay, that's, yeah, like I said, I, I thought it was in the 200 range. So, wow, it's lower than, maybe I should have said 250 That would have been better, I guess. But... Oh, what if what if the Rainbow Dragon was the tier three and then the Toon Cannon Soldier was the wild card? That would be funny because they could easily not both be tier threes. I don't know. You, you, all you know is one of them is a tier three. <sighs> okay, Rainbow Dragon, Ghost Rare. Honestly, I'm probably gonna guess in the in like the 1,000 range, which is crazy. Um, but I don't know, but it's not a misprint though. It might actually okay, be cheaper. Okay, well I will tell you the yep. max that there's nothing higher than a thousand. The, okay, it's nothing higher than a thousand. Okay. So you know there's a ceiling of a thousand. Okay, I'll guess six hundred fifty dollars for Rainbow Dragon, Toon Canyon Soldier, two hundred twenty-five dollars. All right, six. What do you say, six fifty? Yeah, six fifty. Rainbow for, for Rainbow Dragon. Yep. And then two twenty-five. Okay. All right. Pack. Final two answers. How are you feeling right now? Before we tell you how you did, dude. I'm so nervous. This this is like where it makes or breaks. You know, like the. the this is where street. you could either have a great time or you could just have ruined it yeah exactly normally this is where someone has swapped a question i have to do like three different ones but you did mm. it early yep. so let's just go for it so you know the toon cannon soldier is under 300 you know one of these is a tier three which one yep. do you want to hear first i'll hear the toon cannon soldier first all right your 10th yep. question toon cannon soldier ultra rare from tournament pack six you said 225 yep you know that's under 300 yep this card is Two hundred dollars. Oh my god! I was gonna guess two hundred. I'm sick. <laughs> if you had said, I, I was like, when you had like, we're gonna do the lower or higher on here. I was thinking, wait, if he might say two hundred, like, because if he's, because like, it's an like even number, so it's like, there's a chance that he goes like just straight up two hundred just to see if it's like really low. And I was like, if he says that, I'm gonna freak out. But yeah. either way, 225, still a pretty good guess. Now you know that this Rainbow Dragon is your tier three. This tier, the tier threes are where everything goes wrong. Yep. Where everything messes up. The good thing for you is the worst guess you've had so far is $135 yep. off. So mm -hmm. that's the worst you could possibly have. Do you yeah. think you got it with an 135? Okay, so it's plus minus. I, I honestly, I was gonna guess 500 for this, maybe 550. But yeah, I feel like I'm in what within the range. What made you go 650? I just, so like, I, I feel like when I looked at the price of these cards, I never see someone just list 500. I feel like someone always lists like 600, 650, maybe seven, eight. So okay. I just guess 650. You're I honestly inside the mind yeah. of the TCG player sellers. Yeah, now. exactly. I'm trying okay, to see how they right. think. <laughs> well, let's see if it worked. Your final card, Rainbow Dragon Ghost Rare, first edition from Tactical Evolution. First, you said you were going to win the thousands. Then you just you change. You're like, ah, that's a little high. Then you're like 500. But no, TCG player sellers, they don't list at 500. They list in like random numbers, like yeah. 650. Well, the correct answer, uh, pack, unfortunately, no, is six hundred and forty dollars. Oh my god! Oh my god! Let's go! Oh you my god! That was crazy. You were like six fifty, and I was oh like, my oh, god. I was just like freaking out. Then you were like two twenty five. I was like, that's pretty close too. <laughs> oh my god! I was so okay. Like I said, my original guess was five. I wanted to go five. Then I'm like 800. Then I'm like, okay, what's ha what's halfway between five and eight? It's like yeah. 650. So I was going different. in the middle. Yeah, because like like my worst guess was 135. So if I can pick something yeah. that's in the middle of like 
my two like unsure and I'm in the range, it's fine, right? So that was my yeah. thought process that I was like trying to guess too. So yeah, well, 650. All I know <laughs> is that it, this is going to be a really good score because you didn't oh miss anything God. badly except the one that, that wasn't even that bad. It's like kind of an average miss. Yep. Uh, okay, we got to calculate these things and Ooh. come back and see what you did. Okay, let's do it. A few moments later. All right, we are back with the results. Okay. Pac, how are you feeling right now? Bro, after the last two guests, I feel I feel amazing. But I feel you bad feel for your amazing. wallet. <laughs> okay, let's just throw this out there. If you're watching this video and you have not left a like, comment, subscribe, and uh, turn on notifications for this channel, you better do it because that's how you enter the giveaway to win. If you're if he's within one percent, one thousand dollars. If he's within five percent. $500. We're not even going to go past that because he did so well. I'm not even, I'm not spoiling anything, but Ooh. we don't need to announce the rest. So it's going to be somewhere big. So okay. make sure you guys leave a comment. Okay. Time for the official announcement. All right. All right. These 10 questions that I asked you, yep. they totaled $2,376. Okay. You were off by, so we dropped the Destiny Hero Dead, Dreadmaster. That was 135 bucks. So the, the other nine that, that we totaled up. This, this might be a little spoiler, give away what oh. you're at, but the, the total from those nine, you were off by $114. Oh my God. You also got every tier correct. That means Yo. you get $100 off, Yo. which means you were off by a total of $14. Let's go. Which means you were 0.0059% off, <laughs> which is officially under 1%, which means Means you have won the $1,000 prize for someone watching this video. Oh my gosh, that is insane. That is insane. That is crazy. Not only that, you were off by like one or two or three, like multiple times. Like mm. you could have been negative. You were close to being negative. You Yo. hit those 25s. <laughs> that be, is insane. Crazy. People said it couldn't be done. They said it yep. couldn't be done, but you have officially not only beaten Gage, but you have taken a huge lead. I mean, you're like... 0.5% is what we're at. Like, that was an impressive performance pack. Pack, did, were you like doing like TCG player workouts? Were you like studying before this? No. Like, what so, happened? The thing is, I've always been pretty good with car prices. I feel like I have a pretty decent memory. So, like, I. I buy and sell a lot, so or I mean I I mainly buy. I don't really sell, and so I uh, I end up collecting a bunch of like really cool stuff over the years. And um, there's always like really cool stuff like the the cars you list named, like you know Dreadmaster, Toon Can, Soldier, Rainbow Dragon, which I, I still don't even own. Um, that I always like you know try to take a look at like maybe one day like if I have a little bit extra on the side I'll, I'll like you know consider buying. So right. I also did like a I, I was I think a couple days ago I was doing a Twitch stream where I was like yo I think it'd be really cool if I can, can do this with Ruxin. Uh, let's watch yeah. some of these right and react to them. And like I was watching with my chat and I was like doing it on the side. I was doing pretty well on them too. So I yeah, how did you do when you get? Do you remember like did you like calculate um, them or did you? Yeah, just, I, like... I did. I did. I was in like I was like so it's funny because the real one that I did with you I was yeah. in, like that was like my best score. The ones that I was. Doing doing like yeah. re reaction wise i was getting like three percent four percent so like i okay. felt like i was yeah. gonna do pretty solid and but yeah so i, I it, it yeah, uh you just went like insano mode right here and like <laughs> less than one i mean i put it at one because i wanted it to be really hard yeah. but i also knew it was possible yeah. and it's really good to see like because for a while we had a lot of people getting like the 100 hundred dollar prize range which is like mm -hmm. they did pretty decent but they like didn't do amazing Yep. And people were kind of like, oh, you should like up it. And I was like, this is a thousand dollars. Like I'm not upping yeah. it. I'm making somebody <laughs> earn it. And you like you and I won't spoil it because you watched the, the show. Yep. But another mm -hmm. person recently did pretty well as well. But you have officially become number one. And uh, hey, yeah, so we've had a couple people like show that it's possible mm -hmm. to do really well. So yep. I'm, I'm super excited, even though I have to donate a thousand dollars to one of you guys. Uh, I, I'm, yep. I'm hyped because you did like the hardest thing to do so yeah. yeah pretty pretty awesome it took 12 episodes but hey we that's, did it that's pretty did. good hey guys don't forget to comment like subscribe like ruxin is saying i mean bro you, you don't want to miss out on a thousand dollars and uh, this is super fun and i really enjoyed being on here so huge shout out to ruxin man this is awesome yeah make sure you guys go check out pax twitch stream and check him out on youtube thank you so much for showing up man it was awesome uh <laughs> just insane like that i can't believe how you well you did it was awesome anyone uh, thing you want to say before the end uh no no um i i enjoy doing things like this and uh this was great so uh, I look forward to watching more people get on and do this. So, yeah. And now you can always be like, haha, I'm the guy who's in first <laughs> the whole time, which is awesome. Uh, so you can be like, yeah, those guys can't beat me. So <laughs> that was awesome. Thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed it, make sure to subscribe, of course, enter that giveaway. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Is this the 1%? Is this the dream?
<laughs> Holy crap. <laughs> All right. We got we got to do the math, but I don't think the math's even necessary at this point. Okay. No. <laughs> okay. Holy crap. <laughs> I'm so sorry. You're going to have to donate. <laughs>